get the intro. Okay, last time we lost uh, Storm. She lost her powers and Jean Grey showed up at the door. There she is. The other Jean Grey. Who has a better tan. As if her awareness was born only yesterday. Oh wow. Some sort of laboratory. And hope. A home? Whoa. Thank God she had the baby. Could have scared the baby. Let's call this mystery gal in the bed, Jean Doe. All in favor? Jean Doe. It's mm. clever. Words will fail to prepare you, but the gene that lies on this couch would appear to be the actual Jean Grey. What do you mean, huh? the actual Jean Grey? Jean Doe is older. The proper age. Hmm? Yours, while identical, is not. Our Jean is a clone. What? Impossible! Scott, tell them. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's got his baby. Scott. Ooh, damn. I am Jean Grey, member of the X-Men, one of the first. This I is interesting. by your side in countless battles. You know me. Hmm. They're all like, uh... Storm would have believed me. Storm's not around, is she? Jean, um... I can take him. He's fine. Scott, I need you to trust me. I don't know what to believe right now. Just go. Why, so she can kidnap your baby? It's part of her plan. We could still leave. Jean. Who's there? Answers. Is that Logan screwing with her from the other room? Time band's looking slick, beast. Must be ready soon. The time band? Make the final modifications to send you back to your time, Bishop. Oh, you said in your no wonder I didn't know you hadn't Bishop. heard of Magneto taking over the X Men. Time isn't some history book, man. It's always writing. Scott, you have to get Nathan. Scientists oh, wait. and artists have signatures to their work. Hold I on. know who cloned Jean. Is Bishop the guy in Days of Future Past? The black guy in Days of Future Past near the beginning. Is that Bishop? I think maybe that was Bishop. I think now I gotta go back and look. It's like, I don't know who this guy is. Sinister. Oh. I don't understand. I know who Sinister is. As Mr. Sinister. You! You want our son? Nathan! Yes. That's why I made you. Damn, so it's just true. true. I'm not. Every cell in you belongs to me. Creepy. My Damn, influence that sucks. over your mind is flawless. What? Oh snap! Who is she morphing into? They wow! Know my Green Phoenix. Wow! This got really interesting all of a sudden. Looks like Magneto and Rogue have the danger room next. Oh. And all tomorrow, too. Wow. It don't say that. Stay on patrol. Maybe Gamma go look for Rogue right now. <laughs> Shush your LaFont. Think you just sent his hush puppies up into his stomach. <laughs> hush puppies. Hit the shower. That's funny. Uh oh. Hello? That you, Gambit? Always with the jokes, eh, Martha? As if we all don't know. Well, they're all seeing this stuff, right? He's messing with all their minds. The the yeah, she totally messed with her mind. Wow. Damn. That's like uh, some full metal alchemist crap right there. Nathan, no! This can't be good. Definitely not good. Merits, my boy. You abandoned me, Bishop. Where's your hope? Yeah. Playing with all their minds to their fears. You're not real! Savior! Oh, oh dear. What the? His biggest fear is he'd see a monster <laughs> with the wrong floor. The whole mansion's it's possessed. Ah! Downstairs, now! What the heck is going on? We're in hell. You're in Jean Grey's hell. Or actually, Sinister's hell. While I share Sinister's apparent affection for Dante's Inferno, no, this is the, the clone. Well, if they're just, they can't really get hurt by these things in. Theory? Yo, Cyclops, hit me. 
It's like a power attack. Alright, Bishop. It all goes away and their house is destroyed. Done. Is that the good Jean Grey? Woke up from her coma? Oh no, it's still her. Jean. Gonna come clean. Jean. Pathetic. Whoa. Sinister's controlling you. Me? Who am I? Say my name, Scott. I am beyond Jean Grey. Beyond the X-Men. I am the Goblin Queen! The what? No! Who went and hired a stampede of buffalo to do a home makeover? Yeah, where the hell have they been? In the training room the whole time? Sinister created the clone. Mr. Sinister? He was a scientist in the 1800s. Then he started cutting up mutants, stealing our DNA to enhance himself. Oh, and prolong I never his knew life. his story. He can even take away their will. I should know. The voices! There's too many! The sheer magnitude of her psychic abilities are overwhelming her. Sinister has plagued us far too long. Rogue, Wolverine, Beast, tend to our wounded. I will lead the others. Am I tripping though? Is Morph new? I've never seen him. I don't. I haven't really followed the X Men though, to be fair, except for the movies. If it wasn't for this, this show's At music, I would have completely forgot about this. Scott Summers and Jean Grey. This animation is pretty solid to be done in a in a '90s style. But first, you must be made invulnerable. You could have at least changed the kid's diapers before you put him in there. Mature audiences only. Remember, Gene is Sinister's victim too. She's under his control. Better listen. I know not what I do. Mm. <laughs> there she is. I knew you. Use the powers of your mind. I want you to fight for me. Oh boy. You got mind control? Oh boy. It's gonna make life real difficult. Yes, my queen. <laughs> Smack the crap out of her. Give us the boy. I should have you as a toy. Ugh. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want it. What? Don't worry. You'll bleed too, darling. Concentrate on my mind, Genie. Just my mind. Remember who you are. Logan, I remember you. Keep going. He's like, yeah, Keep yeah. I mean, all that to you. Now's your time, Logan. Please. God, he's in danger. He's like, damn it. I have to go. Your body is in no condition. Beast, please. My body said, won't be an please. issue. Please. This <laughs> ends now. Maybe the original is better than the clone. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Of course. You took my face, my husband, my family. No violation! I was beating me! Wow. Do you know who I am, Jean? I remember this. It felt like the first day of the rest of my life. When did we find our power? Oh, this oh, pain. pain. Carry all of this. this. No, it's my pain. Can you tell me who I am? Can you say which of these memories are yours and which are mine? Can you? Wow. This must be the visuals my friend was telling me about. They weren't doing this in 97. This is like some legit anime stuff. How could I forget? He's more than a memory. He's a living reminder of the purest love two people can share. Purest love, huh? Or a one night life. stand? Just saying. Let's go save Nathan. So, good Jean projected herself into bad Jean and broke the control. What? Stay away from our son! It's over, Sinister. 
If he's the craziest one ever, there's no way it's ever gonna be over. Whoa. Oh man. It's a techno-organic virus strain. Figure it out, Beast. Please. It could take months, even years, to develop a cure. There's no time. Not in our time. But in the future, Beast's nearly fixed your time band. I do know a guy there. Smart. Can build anything. Hmm. Who would that be? Only got enough juice for Nathan and I. We can't go with you. Right. There has to be another way. I won't abandon my son! You're not abandoning him. Best you're... possible right. future. Right, exactly. Where's the other gene? He won't feel abandoned. I promise. You are perfect, my baby. We love you oh, so she's, much, Nathan. She's implanting memories. That, that? All right, so we're down Bishop and Nathan. We got real Jean and second Jean. Oh, wait. Where's she going? It's not fair. She could stay. We don't know when Sinister switched us. All we have now. One can have Scott and one future. can have Wolverine. An unknowable future built on an unknowable past. My next life will be mine. Call me Madeline Pryor. Maddie. Farewell, Madeline. Farewell, Jean. Somebody's gonna clean that room up. Oh, it's another hot one, Dallas, with no relief inside. Shame about the weather. No summer like a Texas summer. But I wouldn't give if someone could just Try Arizona make one. it rain. Who are you? Name is Forge, an old friend of Charles Xavier. I'd like to help you get back what you've lost. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, wow, so that was actually, uh, not that they're not interesting, because they're all pretty good, but things are starting to get going now. Uh, a lot of crazy storylines. Um, you know, is Bishop going to be successful with Nathan? Are we done with him now for the rest of the series? I know there's only one season so far of, uh, of X-Men 97, so that's pretty crazy. And then we have Jean and Jean, or Jean and Madeline. Madeline could have stayed with, with Logan, and then Jean could have gone back with Scott, and it would make for a very awkward, you know, wife swap situation at times or like the husband trap kind of like the parent trap you know that movie but i'm excited to see what happens in uh, episode four so let's uh yeah let's check out episode four ah uh, thanks remy you're sweet do they eat any real food because all i see are muffins and breakfast cakes we must be ready should mr sinister resurface surely our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers to face a world that despises her. Someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. My parents perished when I was a child. Mm. Turns 18 today? Me. How do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? Let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. Ugh, this is bogus. What's wrong with just one day? Oh, so he said no. They aren't even here because they just had to go play mutant politics. Genosha entering the UN is a big deal. You actually do play video games? The only people who hate <laughs> video games are bad at video games. Never even heard of a Motendo. There's the title. Let's play. I'd rather me and Wayne find out I'm a mutant. Dude, it could be a cool game. Oh, not cool. Oh. Ready player two. Yep. How long were we playing? Hey, where'd the mansion go? Who's doing this? Maybe Sinister? I mean, I know he was last episode, but what the hell would this be? How did we get downtown so fast? So, which Jubilee's powers? I forgot. I know she has a bunch of lights and looks like little fireworks or something, but I don't know if I ever really knew. Dudes with their Mega Man cannons. It could be a trap. A phone booth trap? That'd be creative. No nah, man. Hello? It's Neo. Morpheus. Yep. That's wild. Whoa, hold up. Genosha? Find the phone, answer the I phone. I was trapped here with Storm and a bunch of other mutants. All enslaved to build by Bolivar Trap. <laughs> Wait, why does that guy look like Bubba Fett? I guess they all do. I didn't do that. Maybe it was her. Huh. Like a 
cyberpunk mirage. You're totally in a video game. Pay attention to the young lady. You're like oh, totally. That's a dude from the the thumbnail of totally. the episode. Okay. Just Mojo here, alien TV producer who what feeds off What the hell is that thing? That's why I made the pivot. That thing is so evil looking, man. My... What the heck? You're the star. Player numero uno of my first blockbuster. Player one. Early. Picture this. The future so evil of looking, Nintendo but so that's harmless Mo for Mojo in I'll dominate the galaxies and the 18 to 45 age demographic. And what if we refuse to play your game? Quite the demographic. What then? 18 to 45. If you die in the game, you die in real life. It does have control of them. Game on! <laughs> the ride of Jubilee. Press start. Do you have one of those Jubilee. emulators in the other room? Here we go. Just like that. It's like, uh, yeah, I guess it's like the game. I was gonna say it's like Ninja Turtles, too. Nice. With that thing. How did you get my health back? That wasn't me. He's at it again. This is what you get when you kill tech support. We're failing to kill the boss! So who's this other, this... Pretty cool looking multi arm lady whose robot is helping them out. Niagara face. We're gonna find out. They acted like a hated mutants. Man, talk about simpler times. Uh, should probably find a way out of here. What's the rush? These yeah, levels would, are taking How the hell back. would you get out of there? Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. I am Magneto. So I play my grandson on those video games. He's done. I'm always Magneto. I whoop his ass. He's okay, five. he's got a pattern of attack. There's a cycle. Game over. Roberto! It's life. Health. Health. How did that get in there? Did I die? Was I dead? No, oh, thank man. goodness. Someone is definitely helping us. Well, boss level. What? It didn't look like a sentinel hand. It's a giant Maybe version of that other thing. Friends. And by friends, I mean you. She's a plot twist. She's in league with Mojo. It'd be funny if that was actually it's Jubilee. Costa. Like a video game version. <laughs> like I said, we go way back. Huh? I got a few questions. Explain so I was right. You gotta test a game That's an old launch. Jubilee, right? So, totally. Mojo needed beta testers. I've played these levels inside and out. It's nice knowing how every stage ends. But that's not living. It's not life. Living doesn't get cheat codes or extra lives. So, Magneto was right. A bit. Video games are like the perfect thing to take your mind away from what else going on in life. As long as you don't get lost in them. Dang, that thing is massive. Is it Doom? Like, there's some game that has a bad guy like that. That's gotta be Doom. Tell me if I'm right. I don't wanna look it up. There's like a boss, I wanna say on Doom, that's like him. Is it Doom? There's some game I've played where... Jubilant Power. It's got a jamming soundtrack, to be honest. But who is the assistant with all the arms? Spiral or whatever. Ooh. She's 18, it's consensual. It's her birthday. Storm, dinner is ready. Oh yeah, this is that guy who met, saw her at the bar. My papa's bison chili. He has room for the spices to do their magic. Yeah, bison's lean already. How does it work? A mutant who can invent anything he can conceive. I can get at parts of the brain that are normally dormant in humans. Oh, okay. He's one of them. Or simply a genius. Ooh. May I ask? Red wine. He's an alchemist. That's why he's got the arm and the leg. His real name the is Alark. wind in my hair so powerful it's hard to breathe. Just adapted and got a little creative. Let's go for a ride. Ooh. He's gonna romance Storm. Keep up. What a rude little man. 
Ooh. They're watching you going. <laughs> the goddess lives. Mm. That owl, I've seen him before circling. I bet that's an amazing view. Like if it were real. You ready? I'd be like, uh, you sure this thing's safe? Have you done this before? How many how many mutants have you saved if you reverted? Okay, Aurora. Winds? Heed my command. Hear me. It's gonna take more than one episode. Please. Before we got the latest Jordans on. Why is fixing me so important to you? The Defense Department offered to help me. As long as I help them build some devices, neutralize dangerous mutants. Mm. No, they no, build the no. Sentinels? You made these? No. Is it a collar? A scientist in Scotland did. I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. A perfect path to your redemption. Aurora, look at me. I'll say it once, just once. I need me some cutoffs like he I has. I love you. Oh. Ow! You meant to make me a goddess. Damn. Oh, look at that. Yikes. What the hell? Aurora! How did I return here? Let's mess up with them. What the? My whole thing's in the heavens. Get out of my home! Ah! What the hell? This, this is dark. You live. Disappointed. I feast on misery. And I shall not waste my meal. Oh wow, that was it. Holy crap. Okay. The video game part of this was pretty interesting and cool, but Aurora, Aurora? Storm. Storm's chapter with uh, Mr. Elric with his auto mail, just kidding, is even more interesting, much more interesting than Jubilee and her boyfriend playing uh, old school games. What the hell is this thing? What is this this owl thing that's, that's there and is she dreaming? That's what I wanna know. Is the dude really like dying or is she dreaming? It's hard to tell because the way that she went from falling off the cliff through the top of the house, right? That's gotta be a dream. Someone's, someone's messing with their head. Someone's messing with them. This whole episode was about being messed with. This is very adult. It seems like a cartoon, but the content as promised is very adult in nature. And I like it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com, get real with Jay. Make sure you subscribe to this video and I will see you guys on the next reaction.